My son has amazing scripts, but won't share them. Also a bachelor's in film. Why won't he put them out there? So I think my answer will help not just your son, but other artists. So painters, musicians, actors, singers, everybody. First of all, uh, just because your son has a degree in writing doesn't mean his writing is at that level yet, right? The degree doesn't mean that. It's not like getting a pilot's license where like, now you know how to fly a plane. Writing is different. And your son may recognize that. He may feel like it's not quite there yet. And he's right. He shouldn't be in a hurry to prove to the world that he's not ready. So as long as he's working on his craft every day and writing and writing, then he's doing the right thing, you know, because he'll get better. At some point, you're right. He's going to have to uh, put his work out there. And that can be very scary. So I'm going to share a story from my past that I think may help. So I'm a professional TV writer. I've been doing it for 26 years. But a couple of years ago, I got to the point where I wanted to try something different and flex my you know, creative muscles. So I decided I wanted to write a collection of personal essays, but also stage them as performed readings. And so performative, uh, and that's, that's kind of out of my comfort zone. So I was insecure about that. And I was talking to my friend, Missy, who helps people with stuff like this. I'll, I'll tag her if you want to follow her below, if she's on this platform. Anyway, uh, we were talking and I said that, you know, as a child, People always said that I had a gift for writing, that I was very gifted. And I interpreted that to mean that the universe had given me this gift and now I had this ability, this power, I had it now. And she said, but there's another way of looking at it. When someone says you're gifted, that means, that could also mean you're holding a gift. And what do you do with gifts? It's not, the gift's not for you. Your job is to give it away. You don't show up to the party empty handed, you bring a gift. So the gift isn't for you, it's for everybody else. And when you look at your creative work that way, it kind of changes the energy. It's like, yeah, okay, this is not for me, it's for everyone else. And it changed the energy into how I approached uh, this work. Uh, the show was called The Paper Orchestra, right? And it was uh, six, six shows, sold them all out, and people wanted more. They, they want, but, you know, so we're going to do more. But it changed the energy because I was now thinking about, well, how can I give people something, you know? Uh, and it's more, it's a generous act. It changes the idea of, you know, so it's, when you're sharing your work, it's not, it's no longer selfish. It's no longer about me, me, me. And some people are like that way, you know, but if you approach it with like, what can I give people? Uh, it's a much more generous way of thinking about your work. And it's now it's your obligation to share your work, your talent with the world. It's your obligation. Anyway, if you'd like to come see my show, we're going to do more. We're touring with it, uh, for tickets. Go over here. Well, I think the next city we go to is going to be Boston. But after that, uh, I hope to get to your city. So just go here to learn more. And uh, again, it's your obligation to share your talent with the world.